I introduce you to one of the most touristic regions of Switzerland, the Upper Engadin. While most of you might be familiar with St. Moritz, there is actually a lot more to see in this area. Get to meet the three major lakes of this region, as well as some hidden spots that where you can enjoy the serenity. This is my Upper Engadin travel guide. Good morning everyone from this beautiful town called Silva Plana here in the canton of Graubünden. So this region is actually very famous for the three lakes, so there's a lot to see, so let's go and explore it together. The first lake at St. Moritz is the most visited among the three major lakes of the Upper Engadin. In general, the Upper Engadin is very windy due to the Maloya stream. The least wind, however, you'll be experiencing at the lake of St. Moritz. Thus, I highly recommend you to visit this lake first and make sure to be here during the early morning. 9 am is good, 8 even better, 10 might be already a bit late. During the early morning, the chance for having no or at least little wind is the highest you then may enjoy incredibly beautiful reflections. As the time passes, the wind will set in and there won't be any reflections anymore. The town of St. Moritz is world famous, in particular because of its skiing resort and the many luxurious hotels. St. Moritz attracts the very high society from all over the world, something that may be interesting for you to see. Best time for that would be during winter. After enjoying this touristy spot, head further south to the lake of Silva Plana, it will already be less crowded over there. I'm now at the Silva Plana lake, it's very windy as usual. This is because of the famous Maloya wind that provides excellent conditions for windsurfing. Today there is a lot going on. This is because there is an international windsurfing race. The lake of Silva Plana charms with its unique turquoise color, similarly to the lake of Brienz. So here we have another Gatorade reservoir. What many of you might not be aware of is that the lake offers brilliant conditions for wind or kite surfing. As just explained to you before, the characteristic Maloya wind turns Silva Plana into a surfer's paradise. Because of that, this place frequently hosts international competitions. I didn't figure out how the competition exactly works, but what was very interesting is to see how the people get the windsurfing board ready and engage in the competition. Head further south to Silts to visit the Surface Club at the end of the Lake Silva Plana. I'm now at the other side of the Lake Silva Plana. You can see again there are a lot of windsurfers because there is just a school here. I think it's quite easy to try it out because the wind over here isn't that strong compared to the other side. Maybe it's going to be quite a cool experience. Now at the Leda Sills, and over there is my secret spot, which I just introduced to you in my video two years ago. So since I'm here again, I will of course walk up there, and then I will show you how beautiful the view is over there. I don't know why, but again, this lake is quite less visited. Instead, plenty of cars just pass by, and many aren't aware that one of the greatest secret spots is in here. The lake charms with its deep navy blue color. It's wonderful here to be during summer. Even better would be during autumn. It's only going to be a three to five minutes hike up there and I can promise to you the view is going to be amazing. I'm now at lookout number one. The view is really majestic. 
However, I'm just standing by the cliff, so please, please be very careful when you're coming up here. We are now at lookout number two. So this one here is actually a lot more amazing because it's very serene. There is not much wind. What's also really cool, you can see over there is this mini island. Then just behind this bigger island over there is Sils. And what's also nice, you can actually take a look to both sides of this peninsula. This one and the other one where I just parked my car. This is one of my favorite secret spots. Of course, it is not totally secret, especially those people who travel here very frequently know this peninsula. In general though, I noticed that you'll be able to enjoy this place mostly for yourself. There will be few people who come here for a short moment to take photos. If you have the time, I would highly recommend to bring a picnic along and do some barbecue at the fireplace. We've reached the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. If you did, please press the like button, share it to your friends, leave a comment, that would be really awesome. Also, if you're new to this channel but haven't subscribed yet, then you're most welcome to do that now. I really appreciate that. So that's it from my side. We're going to see each other very soon.